Yeah, I guess my journey's quite um, up and down uh, to get to where I am today, but I'm really excited because this time around, you know, I, I'd like to think that I was prepared at 2015, but you know, I've matured a lot, I've grown as a person, and I'm a lot more confident in what I can bring to the team. So I guess, in a sense, I'm a bit relieved and also excited at the same time because I'm at a place where I'm quite confident in who I am. And I don't think I would be where I am today if I didn't have the lows that have happened to me and the highs that have happened for me. So yeah, I'm just, I can't wait to get out there and play with the team because we're such a, um, I guess, experienced and leadership lead team like you know we're full of leaders so I'm just pumping like to get out there and actually go out and train with the girls and finally get some connections that we've been you know just really wanting to um, I guess make sure that everything's working and everything does fall into place and um, yeah I get the opportunity to play with Casey again is really exciting for me and um, you know, for her to be her last World Cup that she'll be at and not to be playing ANZ next year, I'm actually really excited about that. And to be at the World Cup again with her is even better. I guess you learn from your experiences or you either learn from them or, you know, you take them on and you kind of just dwell on what's happened. And I think the first few time, first time that I did get dropped from the Salty Ferns, I went through that blame and um, it wasn't really me, but I guess when you grow up and you really, you know, you, you're not putting the best foot forward that you possibly could, can. Um, I learned a lot about myself in the times that I did get dropped. Um, I was able to focus on other things other than just silver ferns, so that was really nice for me. And I guess for this season in 2019, being the captain for a franchise team was a huge step for me. Um, I know that I've always thrived off having some leadership role within a team, but to actually be the captain, I think that um, really gave me something else to focus on within netball. And then also off court, I was able to focus on what I was gonna do after netball. Um, I guess it's a scary thing to think about, hence why it's taken me like seven seasons to finally um, get the courage to do something about it. But um, I don't think I would have been that I wouldn't have been so um, excited about what's after netball if I didn't get dropped last year from the squad. Um, it kind of forced me into that that place, but I'm really thankful for it because it's I've then pushed myself to get out of my comfort zone and challenge myself um, doing an interview for the first time for an actual real job. It was really freaky, um, but I, absolutely loved it after I you know had the opportunity to have one and then to also my first experience of studying which was te reo Māori and it was a beginner's class but I've never been so nervous in my life and you know I've played in front of thousands of people and never been that nervous ever. I was on the verge of crying <laughs> in the class but I think I learned so much about myself that I was enjoying it and that it was, because it was challenging, I was able to, and I didn't have, I guess, the ferns in the back of my head, I was able to concentrate on something solely and just put in all my effort. Um, and I think I was doing that with ferns, but not to the point of really enjoying it and having that excitement at the end of like achieving something. So I think that's where I've grown um, through being dropped and, yeah, I'm just really excited the fact that I was able to go through all of that and then come out on the other end like stronger and a better person and to make the World Cup. So yeah, I'm really proud of myself and to be able to say that and actually mean it is, is one thing that I'm really happy about. <laughs>